The French Quarter, also known as the Crown Jewel of New Orleans, is one of the city's most historic neighborhoods. However, there is plenty of new mixed in with the old. A reimagined French market coexists with beloved antique stores and old restaurants, as do modern boutiques and artisan cocktails. It is a popular tourist destination in the city, as well as a draw for locals. Here is what you need to know about French Quarter, New Orleans. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. History The Quarter, New Orleans' oldest neighborhood, was founded by the French in 1718. The View Cara, influenced by centuries of global influence, tells age-old stories of trade, pirates, voodoo, and even vampires. The history of this neighborhood can be traced back to Europe and beyond, and these influences can still be felt in today's French Quarter culture. Historic Architecture The View Carré is a magnificent collection of historic French, Spanish, Creole, and American architecture, with cast iron balconies and walled courtyards to colorful Creole cottages and townhouses. The French Quarter is home to some of the city's most distinctive architecture, so take a stroll through the neighborhood to get a sense of the neighborhood's multicultural heritage and timeless appeal. Transportation If you stay in the French Quarter, downtown, or the arts-slash-warehouse district, you might not need to hire transportation at all because you can walk to all of your destinations. Still, the streetcar system in New Orleans is a charming way to explore the city, and you can easily rent bikes hop a bus, take a ferry, or call a pedicab, taxi, or limo service whenever you need to. You'll also have easy access to all of New Orleans' diverse neighborhoods. Hotels. You'll find the perfect accommodations in this quintessential New Orleans neighborhood. Whether you prefer a quaint, tucked away inn, or a hotel, right in the heart of the bustling French Quarter. There are numerous hotels to choose from. However, if you want to stay in luxury, consider these hotels. For example, Hotel Montelion. The word decadence perfectly describes this hotel. Since its inception in 1886, the Montelion has been a favorite of William Faulkner and many other interesting guests. This is said to be one of New Orleans' most haunted hotels. You can also look into Hotel Street Marie. If you want to stay in a historic building with a romantic courtyard, but with modernized rooms, this is a great option. However, if you're looking for a low-cost option, consider City House Hostel. This hostel is a favorite of budget travelers in the French Quarter. You should also look into Hotel Provincial. Restaurants The French Quarter has more memorable dining establishments than any other neighborhood in New Orleans. From 19th-century Creole cuisine to contemporary fusion fare, the restaurants in this famous neighborhood offer an endless variety and unparalleled food. Check out some of the best restaurants in town, such as Restaurant Revolution, Broussard's Restaurant, Court of Two Sisters, Foundation Room at House of Blues, Criola Restaurant and Lounge, and others. If you're looking for a more affordable option, consider Pat O'Brien's Bar, Two Jade's Restaurant, Sylvain, Pierre Antoine Restaurant, and others. Shopping Imagine browsing through a quirky mix of independently owned shops ranging from haute capture to voodoo dolls in an old world setting of varied architecture and timeless elegance. Welcome to shopping in the French Quarter, New Orleans' oldest neighborhood and a national historic landmark. If you're looking for jewelry, local art, antiques, or everything fleur de lis, this is the place to be. Visit the well-known French market, Kiel's Antiques, Royal Antiques, Fifi Mahoney's, H-E-E-X, Old World Witchery, and so on. Nightclubs and Bars The nightlife in New Orleans' world-famous French Quarter is anything but unique. It stands out for its diverse offerings, which include historic bars, local hangouts, Bourbon Street-based clubs, craft cocktail lounges, lush cabarets, and much more. Whatever you prefer to do in the evenings, the French Quarter has you covered. Carousel Bar, the Davenport Lounge, the Parish Room, the Puccini Bar, the Jazz Playhouse, and others are worth a look. Festivals The people of New Orleans don't need an excuse to throw a party or parade. The French Quarter is brimming with festivals. Some of the great festivals here include Mardi Gras, New Orleans Pride Parade, French Quarter Festival, Satchmo Summer Fest, and Voodoo Fest hosted by Voodoo Authentica. 
Haunted Places There are numerous haunted locations in New Orleans. For example, the Madame LaLaurie Mansion. Many consider this home to be one of the most haunted in New Orleans, and its former owner even inspired an American Horror Story character. A fire at the LaLaurie Mansion in 1934 reveals a torture chamber where slaves were routinely brutalized by the mansion's lady, Delphine LaLaurie. You can walk by the house and respectfully take photos, but tours are not available inside. Leah Party Pierre Antoine Jordan renovated and treasured this property until he lost it in a poker game. He committed suicide on the second floor, desolate and depressed. Jordan is said to hang around on the second level, which is today known as the Seance Room. Muriel's guests and employees have reported smashing glassware, objects moving and hearing voices on the second floor. The current building owners believe that the ghosts present are benevolent and entertaining. Parking Situation The parking regulations are rigorous, complicated, and strictly enforced. Tow trucks are always on the lookout, even at night, especially at night. Many visitors' journeys have been ruined by a needless detour to the city pound. If possible, stay in the French Quarter. You won't need a car for anything. Even visits outside the city will most likely involve transportation from your hotel. If you choose to stay in such regions, you can walk to the quarter from the commercial district or ride the trolley from the garden district. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.